Morning Farmers, we're back with a new map. So this is Eureka Farm, this is by TNT Modding, 89.58 megabyte on the download. And there is some treasures to be found on this one, I must admit. So, what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on here on Farm Engine and start from scratch, you're going to use 1,239 slots. If you come on here on New Farmer, you're going to use... 1,333. Now the difference is going to be the equipment, but, and it is a but, Farm Manager and Start From Scratch does have a decent bit of equipment. But, if you come on New Farmer, you have got a ton of equipment, and there's some quality ones in this as well, I really must admit. So, we got under large tractors, we got the Case Steiger Quad Track 620, the Steiger Road Track 500, the Steiger Wheel 620, the New Holland T9 700, the John Deere 9570RT, the Case Magnum 400 Power Drive, and then the Case Magnum 400 Power Drive times two. It's like what? What's that? Two, four, seven, seven. Seven large tractors. On the trucks, we got the Mac Pinnacle 6x4. On the harvesters, we've got two John Deere X9 1100s, but take a look at the grain tank. 250,000 litres on both of them. Oh, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. On the forage harvesters, we've got the Crone Big X 1180. On the beat technology, we've got the Roper Tiger 6XL. And when it says XL, it means it 430,000 litre capacity on that. Man, that's insane. Under crop protection, we've got the Burt Home Bruin 4200. 42,000 litre capacity on that one. This is just, just brilliantly insane. Brilliantly insane. You've got the Chrome Big M450. Then we we'll come down to trailers. Now, this is where it gets brilliant. It really does. Stroutman Aperion 3401 with 520,000 litre capacity. Distinction Super B pool trailer, 404,000. Distinction Super B lead trailer, 352,000. So with those two together, it's like, what's it, 756,000 litres just in those two trailers. We then got the Brantner, 340,000 litres. Oh, that's insane. Headers, we've got the John Deere HD50F, and in particular, 15.2 metres. Fair enough, fair enough indeed. Now this one, corn header. John Deere C16F, 12 meter, but it's going to do sugar cane. Yeah, corn, sunflower and sugar cane. And if you want to do sugar cane with a forage harvester header, we've got this one. The Crown X Collect 903. Oh, that's all right. That's all right indeed. On the beat technology, we've got the Roper RRXL 9x45. Standard one on that one, to be fair. On the Cedars, the Amazon Saitan 15001C. With a 78,000 litre tank on it. 78,000. Awesome. Planters, John Deere 1775 NT. Again, this is just insane. It's just insane. 35,000 litres on the tank on that one. Come down to fertiliser spreaders. This, this is A's. The Breedle K165, 250,000 litres. Lime, solid fertiliser. Fill that up. You're probably never going to need to fill it up again. 250,000. Excellent. The passenger hit 1618T under the tether section. Under wind rowers, we got the GA15131. And then under forage wagons, the Bergman Shuttle 490S. Again, 495,000 litre capacity. That's ace. Baylors, we've got the Case LB436HD. And then to finish off, We've got the Nardi N6045 and then the Roper RRXL 9x45 trailer. Man, there's some beasts of equipment in there. But the best thing is, you come down to your mods and DLCs under the Eureka Farms, you, you've got them all there. You've got them all there. All the trailers, there's some other ones you don't start with. You've got that tanker there, 320,000. But if we go to that, the Universal Bucket, 100,000 litres on that Universal Bucket. Oh, that's ace. I mean, there's plenty of stuff down here for you to be getting on with, mind you. But still, I mean, it's like, what's on that one? 250,000 litres on the forage mixer. Oh, that is insane. I mean, you've got that one there. 250,000 litres on that water tanker. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So what about the map? Here's your map. So you start all three game modes in the middle. Obviously... Farm managers start from scratch. You don't own any land. But on New Farmer, you own all this. You've got Area 1, Area 63 as well, uh, Field 8, 
and then the sort of periphery. So if you used to buy, there you are, that's better, number one, it's going to cost you 396,000. Fair enough. And you buy field eight, it's going to cost you 206,000. If you buy the periphery, it's going to cost you zero. So you might as well just buy that anyway. Fair enough. So this is your start farm. So we'll come around here. We've got a pigsty for you. So going into there, obviously, it's going to be your taking out point for your slurry. We'll come down this side. If those are, if those uh, pieces of equipment are that, then I want to see what the capacity on these is. So food goes into there. Pigs, 270. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. So we'll come around here like that. Spin it back around. That's better. So we'll come over here and we've got another animal area. So you've got your animal dialogue box just there. 360 chickens. These don't seem as big and over the top as the equipment is. But all right, fair enough. Loading in point for your food. And we'll come down here. You've got your egg pallet spawn just there. And next to that, we've got a sheep barn. So you've got a bit of storage there if you wanted to. Your food goes in. Well, that's not sheep. That's horses, isn't it? All right, there we are. 14 horses going in there. And we have got a farmhouse down over here. So it's going to be around the other side by the main road, which is fair enough. So come around here like that. And there's a little bit of a cut-out bit there. And I'm on a new farm. I own the land, so it's not missing anything, mind you. But, all right, fair enough. Sleep trigger down there for you. Then we'll come back because we've got a, another animal area up the top. So as you can see there in the distance, you've got a couple of bunker silos. Nice and big for you. But, as well, this area here, big and open... I mean, you've got these bunker silos, sort of like stacked on the end of each other, so drive through, no problem. You could easily place like some greenhouses down here or little production chains, no problem. Fair enough. So we'll come over here and we've got a line by point just there for you. Bit of storage under your shed. There's your big planters and cedars. They're ace. They really are. Then we'll come over here and we've got an animal barn. So it's going to be cow barn for you. So you've got your slowly taken out point down that end. Food goes in the middle. And obviously your milk taken out point. Animal dialogue box just there. 80 cows going in. Not the robot ones. You are going to have to load it in yourself. And you've got a bit of a storage shed down here. So we'll come down here. We'll open up that door. There you are. Fair enough. Empty. But obviously you can put some stuff in there. No problem. And you've got a bit of storage in that shed in there. You've got a massive, massive silo just here as well. And we've come around the wrong side. I would do. I've gotten lost already. Money on the start farm. Dear, oh dear. All right, we'll carry on. So we'll come around here like that. There's your loading in, loading out point just there for you. And we spin around over here. You've got a diesel tank. I wonder if it's got any diesel in, actually. Let's have a look. Click on that. There we are. Uh, 15,000 it's going to hold. So it's going to let me put some in, so it's not going to have anything in already. A bit more storage in that shed for you. And we'll come around and over here. And um, we've got a, another animal bin. Plenty of storage there, though. I mean, that's where we started out over there. So we've got some sheeps here. So your pallet spawn point for your wall there. Food goes in there. And then you've got your animal dialogue box in there. 65 sheep. We'll come over here. And we've got another storage area. So try a few options on there. Now, this opens up like that. There you are. More storage in there. The next door should be a workshop trigger in here. There we are. There's your workshop trigger. Then we carry on down here. We've got another building. This is the Horman one. Now, I like to use this as a, you know, sort of like a dealership role play sort of thing. In there is a load of your equipment as well. That's a decent start farm, I must admit. You've got all your animals ready to go. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Right, we'll carry on. We're going to move on. I'm going to go over the road to here. So obviously this is going to be a gas station for you so how much are they charging let's have a look 69 nice <laughs> ah, buy that every day of the week the next door to that we've got a sale points is going to be your diner so obviously fast food restaurant i'd imagine just down there is that called fast food restaurant actually zoom in let's have a look there you are fair enough then next door to that is going to be your red marble bowl so sale point just there for you and then next door to that go back out onto the road there we are, down this bit. We're going to hook a left into here like that. This is going to be your farmer's market. So sling it round the back. And then you've got your sale point just there. All fairly simple. Fair enough. Right, we're going to carry on. We're going to go over to this area up here. 
So we've got another sale point for you. So this is the Sugar Mill Refinery. So you've got two sale points here. Imagine one's going to be for your loose stuff and then one's going to be for your pallets. Then we'll come back out of there. Come down this bit. We're going to turn right a little. There we are. Because then we've got the actual Sugar Mill itself. So you've got your pallet spawn point at the front. Production chain menu just there for you. So we'll click on that. 80 grand. Fair enough. Then we'll come around the back. Obviously, that's going to be your loading in point. All right. We're going to carry on. We're going to come all the way down to this area down here. So we've got a couple of production chains down here. So first one is going to be your cereal factory. So load in, pallet spawn point, and then production chain menu. So 110 grand for that one. And we'll spin back around. We're going to come down the road here a little. Now we've got a spinnery up next. So we'll just come over here like that. Pallet spawn point, loading in point. And then around this corner is going to be your production chain menu just there. It's going to cost you 60 grand. And then next door to that is going to be an oil mill. It's going to come down here like that. There we are. So pallet spawn point, loading in point. And then down this side of the building is going to be your production chain menu. So click on that. There you are. 80 grand. Jobs are good. Em. Right. We're going to jump over to this area up here. So out nestled in the woods is obviously going to be your sawmill. So you've got your loading in point, your sound wood icon, your pallet spawn point just there. And then you've got your production chain menu, 100 grand just there. And if you come out and over here, there we are, down the back of this building, you've got your wood chip taken out point. All fairly simple. Right, we're going to come up to this area up here. So first up, we've got another production chain. This is going to be your great factory. So you load in there, pallet spawn point, production chain menu out the front. So that's going to cost you 80 grand. I'm going to come out of there, and then next door to that is going to be your supermarket. So you sell your stuff around the back just like that. Next door to that is going to be your bakery. So you've got your pallet spawn point, your loading in point down the side, and at the front is going to be your production chain menu, so just there. So that's going to cost you 50 grand. And then next door to that is going to be another sell point. So San Giovanni Pizza, so, so sell all your stuff there. I put my teeth in. The next door to that is going to be your tailor shop. So you've got your wardrobe icon at the front, loading in point, production chain menu, 100 grand. And then down this side is going to be your pallet spawn point. Fair enough. Right, we'll carry on up to the top corner here. Right, it's got another production chain here for you. So this is going to be your dairy. So your loading in point's just there, pallet spawn point's just there. And then spin it around and then on the corner, it's going to be your production chain menu just there. 70 grand. Fair enough. And we'll come out. Because next door we've got a carpentry. So you've got your production chain menu on the corner there, just like that. There you are. So click on that. 60 grand. Then down this side is your loading in point and your sell wood icon. And then round the back and down the side is going to be your pallet spawn point. Fair enough. Right, we'll move over to this area over here. So first up, we've got another production chain. So this is going to be your grey mill. So your loading in point, pallet spawn point, then production chain menu just there for you. 96 grand. We spin it around, and then we've got a sell point here as well. Oh, that's all right. Right, we're going to come to our last area over here. Obviously, you can tell from the icon, this is going to be your animal dealer. So pull your trailer down here if you wanted to. If not, have them sent directly to your farm. And then we've got a sell point around the back. So just down the end of this building, just in there. <laughs> now, that's your map. Now, I must admit, right, if we go back into the map, the prices of some of these fields... That one there, field five, 1.9 million. They're big open fields, I must admit. But still, it's, it's going to be pricey to get going. But once you do get going, you've got the equipment. I mean, some of those capacities, unlike the tanks and the you know, grain tank and trailer size, even on the cedars and the fertilizer, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You could easily smash it. Look, we're going to this big field here. This field five, look how huge it is. That's a massive field. Looks like it's ready to harvest as well. You jump on a new farmer, buy that field up, you got a harvest ready to go. Oh, I like this map. If you're into your big open farming, yeah, there is a few trees you might need to keep an eye out on when you get closer to the edge of the field. But big open farming, massive pieces of equipment, big capacities. This is going to be a map for you. Love it. Right, so that's your map tour done for you. Why not hit the join button? Come join us on Andy's Farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.